Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Google Slides. It's a presentation platform and a slideshow platform from Google where you could create presentations for free. And you could get a personal account completely for free or if you have G Suite for business, you could also get that through this website. The easiest way to create a slideshow is to go to drive.google.com and that will give you access to your Google Drive. Now, if you don't have one, just sign up for a Google account for free. And basically what Google Drive does is it gives you access to create Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and Google Forms. And it's an online storage for all that work that you do on your computer. And if you're new to Google Drive, I'll link a different video in the description below this video to how to use Google Drive so you understand a little bit more and these other applications too like Google Docs and Google Sheets. So to create a Google Slides on this Google Drive, you basically just need to press the plus sign here, go to Google Slide and then click it right here and it will open up a new window with your Google Slides. And this is the first thing I always do. Your new document is called Untitled Presentation. So click this and type the name of your presentation and press enter. And if you see by default, it saves it to your Google Drive. That's another nice thing about using these applications that are on the internet from Google. You don't have to save or worry about losing a file. It's automatically saved on your Google Drive. But the next thing you should do is you should press this move option, this little folder icon, click that. And you want to move this document that you just created inside of your Google Drive. So think about it as your computer and you're just organizing things in different folders. So I usually create a folder by pressing the new folder icon here. Give this a name and press the check mark. And now inside of this folder that I just created, I'm gonna move my document there. And anytime you go back to your Google Drive, you'll see these folders here. So I put my Google Sheets in this one and slides and docs in different folders. So it's a lot easier to find. And you also have this little star right here. If you press this option and you go back to your Google Drive folder, you could see that under the star section. So if you click this, it's gonna show the document that you start making it a lot easier to find inside of your Google Drive later on. Let me go back to my Google Slides and let's get started with creating our first presentation. Typically, you'll see this side menu called Themes. Now, I'm gonna press X here just to show you how to get that back. You could come to the Slide tab here and then go ahead and press Change Themes on the bottom. Themes are basically a different layout for each of your slides and your entire presentation. So it basically makes it a lot easier to give your slideshow a professional look and feel without having to manually do a lot of work. So you could come and scroll through some of these, but let's say I like this one, I could just click it and it will apply it here as my first slide. And now that I've done that, I could start creating my first slide. As you can see on the left side, I'm on slide number one and the rest of them are gonna appear underneath. Let's just go ahead and title this one again. These boxes are created for you using these themes. So I could click here and type my title and then I'll type in this other box. And anytime you could click away and then your changes will be saved. Now with everything that you type, you could go ahead and select that text, for example, and you have all these options on top. So one of the ones I use often is changing the font. So that's this drop down here and you could choose a different font. You could change your font size. You can make it bold, italic, all these options as you would typically find. There's the color option as well. So if you want to change the color, you could go ahead and do it that way. This changed the color of the background. And this is the text color here. If you wanted to change the text color, for example, you could go ahead and change it over here. You could also move these boxes. If you don't like where they end up, you could just click them. When the box gets highlighted, you could grab it here and put it somewhere else within your Google slide. Now, before we do more to an individual slide, I usually like to lay out my entire slideshow. So I have an idea from the notes I've taken that this is gonna be a five slide presentation, for example. So to make more slides, I just have to come over here and press the plus sign. That will create a new slide based on the theme that I chose in the beginning of this video. So I chose this theme and my next slide is gonna be based on that theme. Now, if I don't like that, let me go ahead and select this and press delete. You could press this little arrow right here 
and you could see different styles. Again, it's part of this theme. So if you want to change the entire theme, you have to do this over here. But if you want to add a new slide with a different kind of look, go ahead and select one of these options. So in this case, for example, let me choose this one here and it will create this as my second slide. So then again, I will give this a title. This is slide two. And then I'll create my next slide again using this little arrow so I could get a better layout of what my slide is going to be. I'll just do a blank slide here. Maybe I want to add a video to this one and so on. You get the idea for adding different slides. You can make as many as you want on the left side. And anytime you could change the order of your slides by just grabbing one of them and bring it on top of the other one. So it just changed the order of number three and number four. And this is the order when you present to someone. It's going to show from slide one through slide however many you have. So it's important to know the order of how you want your slides. So in this case, this is going to be slide three. You could also come over here to the slide menu. And here you could create new slides as well. Well, one of the more useful ones that I use is duplicating slides. So if you wanted to duplicate slide one with that selected, you could just duplicate that slide and it will duplicate it right underneath. Anytime you could delete by pressing delete and it will delete a whole slide as long as it's selected with this highlighted yellow. Now let's look at more formatting inside of a individual slide. I'm on slide two right now. And let's say we did choose a theme, but we wanted to change the background. Well, there's a background option for your slide. Let me click that. And there's multiple things you could do. You could change the color. Right now, my slide is white. But for example, let me just make it gray here. And I'll press done. And you could see that slide changed to gray. Now, this is just for that slide that I was on. I'm not changing the whole theme. You also, again, if I press background, you could choose an image. This one comes in really handy. So let me choose this one and you could upload it. So let me upload one from my computer and it's going to take a second to upload here. And now if I press done, you could see, let me go back to slide two. Now this Milky Way image is my background. Now I have to make sure the text in the foreground is white so it doesn't get lost in the darker background but it's that easy to change the background for individual slides here. On that same menu background, if you do like that background and you wanna add it to your entire theme, you could go ahead and add to theme and press done. And now all your different slides will have that as their background instead. So if you have a company logo, for example, or if you're using this for a classroom, it might be nice to have a custom background that you upload yourself. I'm going to go ahead and go to the edit menu and undo a couple of times to get rid of that. So anytime if you make a mistake, that's your undo and redo under the edit menu. Now, inside of each slide, let's add images. So not the background image, but something in the foreground. So I'm going to come over here and click right here. And to insert, just come up to the insert menu here. And you could insert all kinds of things into an individual slide. So images, you could upload them, which is basically exactly what I showed you how to do. So let me press upload here, find the image you want to upload, and then it will be uploaded just like this. If you want to resize it, you could just grab the corners here and just shrink it down. You could go ahead and move it around anywhere. I'll just put it right in the center, for example. I could always grab these other boxes and just delete them if I don't want them because I'm going to have the image take place here. And you have some editing options too over here. You could go ahead and crop it. You could go ahead and reset the image and you could go ahead and replace and format the image. The formatting options are kind of useful because they'll give you a bunch of different options like resizing it here. Let's go to slide three. What else can we insert here? Let's go to the insert and video comes in really handy besides images. So let me go ahead and insert a video. The nice thing is you could go ahead and use videos that are on your Google Drive. So you could drop any video manually onto your Google Drive and upload it there and then click that to find it. But one of my favorite ways is just searching YouTube. So I'll search how to use Google Drive here and it looks like my video is the first one here. So I'll select it and let's say I want to add this to my slideshow. I could just press select on the bottom and it will add it right here in the slideshow. Now on the right side, I could also change the start time and the end time, which is really useful for adding YouTube videos. And you can mute the audio if you want it to not distract the presentation. So you have all these different options that you could explore for each video. And as always, you could just go ahead and grab this video and put it somewhere else in the page. 
And let me go to a different slide and let's insert a chart here. This comes in really handy because you could bring in charts from Google Sheets. And again, I'll link the Google Sheets tutorial on the bottom of this page. But if you press from Google Sheets here, now here it gets access to all your spreadsheets from Google Sheets. So if those had any type of charts, mine do not. But if they did, you could go ahead and select them and bring them in. Or you could go to insert chart and then just make one of these charts like a bar chart and you will insert it into your presentation and as usual all the formatting options you have are over here on the right side so you could go ahead and change the size and position and color and if you want to change the values you just have to press this little arrow here and open the source and that basically opens up google sheet here with that slideshow and you could go ahead and change these numbers and these values and it will show up on your slide. Very useful for adding charts. And let me create another slide. I'll just press plus here with this blank slide. And I wanna show you inserting images one more time. And I wanna show you search the web option. Click that. And this lets you search Google, but only pull images that are okay to use without copyright and licensing restrictions. So if I wanted to add the Milky Way here, I could go ahead and search for that and find these images and just go ahead and select one of these and then insert it. You see this insert option? You just click that and it will bring it into my slideshow just like that. And as always, I could press the format options here to get all these options on the side. In this case, I'll just go ahead and center this manually. And you also have the explore tab right here. Click this. And it basically gives you recommendations for layouts. So in this case, it's telling me this is gonna look better if I lay it out a little bit differently. So I could use this suggestion and click that and it will make this full screen for me. Let me go to slide two and use the explore tab here. And with slide two selected, if I press explore again, it's gonna tell me what this should look like. So it's gonna give me some other options and I could go ahead and explore these and see if I like any of them. This one might be an interesting one here, so I could select it, and then I get this kind of layout where I could write more about my image that I inserted. Okay, let me go back to slide one, my intro slide, and we're ready to present and we're done with our slideshow. I could just come up here and click present, and it will take me to full screen, and my presentation is now being displayed. So if I was to share my screen, for example, people could see my screen and exactly what I'm looking at. I have some options on the bottom, for example, if I wanted to jump slides, all my slides are gonna appear here and their title will show here. And I could also put the pointer, click that, and then I'll have this nice pointer. I'll turn that off. You could turn on caption if you want, and you could also turn on notes here, for example, which will bring up this other window where you could have speaker notes for yourself. So you could go ahead and add those when you create your slideshow. Let me show you where that is. I'll press X here and let me end this presentation here by just coming down here and pressing exit. So speaker notes are what appear right here underneath the slide, this box. You could put your notes right here. Again, if I go to present on this slide and if I go to notes, it will open up this window where I could see notes. Now this comes in really handy if you have two screens, for example, you could put the notes on the other screen and share this first window here, for example. And you also have this little arrow next to present. So present on another screen, for example, is available, which is a very popular tool. So if you do this often, it is recommended to have two different displays, two different computer displays. And finally, let me show you share. If you press share here, you could go ahead and add people here to share this with. So for example, let me just type another email just to show you what that looks like. And what you want to do before you press invite is press this drop down and give them the right permission. Do you want them to edit the slideshow with you? Do you want them to comment and give you feedback? Or do you want them just to view the slideshow? These are some of the best ways to share a slideshow and get the right permission to that person. You can make sure they're notified so they get an email to this email address and you could type out your message and then press send. And just like that, they could collaborate with you in any number of ways inside of Google Slides. This is one of the most powerful tools inside of any Google product like Google Docs and Google Sheets. And I use this one all the time. And that's the beginner's introduction to Google Slides. Again, check out the other Google videos like Google Drive and Google Sheets. 
and I hope to catch you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching this one.